Hi guys and welcome to the Siege Mod Project. If you can't tell by the title and what's on the table, this video is all about water cooling. Massive thank you to Alfco who sent over all of the bits that you see here, including their bending kit, the tubing, the uh, pump and res, the block and the radiator and all of the fittings. So, uh, and actually even the, the fluid too, because that's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, but either way, as I said, this video is all about the water cooling. It's mostly going to be um, a little bit of planning, a little bit of prep and then bending the tubing, uh, getting it all sorted, and then actually water cooling it. And then the next video will be the sort of finale where we kind of show you around the, the system as it's finally done uh, with all the extra aesthetic bits that I've added. Um, and then uh, kind of go from there, really. So uh, let's jump into it. So the first thing I needed to do was get the actual system in place and set up so that I could, you know, actually bend the tubing to, uh, to where it needs to go to. I'm using the Biostar X370 board with a Ryzen 1700 on it with uh, 16 gigs of uh, G-Skill Sniper RAM and a 240 gig Techlast M.2 SSD on the back. Um, otherwise, that is the majority of the system. I am actually using an RX 460, I think. Um, it's uh, it's obviously not the highest end, but it fits with the aesthetic and kind of you know goes where, where I want it to. Also, the Alphaco block is now installed. And then uh, I was trying to, to bend the tubing with a hairdryer. I thought this would be hot and enough but um yeah, that didn't didn't really work out, so I went and bought a heat gun, uh, which worked perfectly fine. In fact, it worked so well that I burnt my thumb really badly. So this is the next day um, where we're uh, we're bending the tubing, obviously just trying to get everything in place. The first one is from the radiator to the inlet of the pump, and then I think we're we're doing the uh, outlet of the pump to the CPU block, and then uh, the CPU block to the radiator. But uh, I'm going to leave you with this time lapse and some uh, some nice music while we're uh, cutting everything up and uh, getting everything ready. Right, first plate is jumpered, all of the connections are in theory in and all of the rest of the connections like the 8 pin or the 4 pin and the graphics card um, are not connected so the motherboard or the graphics card are not receiving any power, the only thing that will receive power is the pump reservoir which I'm now going to fill and hopefully it won't leak everywhere, just in case I brought some paper towels though. Let's uh, use this deliciously uh, red fluid and uh, get on it. Right, we've got our first. Oh boy, that's definitely leaking, and it's leaking out of that one. Okay, that's bad. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, um, right, so my guess is that it's leaking out of the uh, fitting. Oh, and a lot of leaking here. From this one. Okay. Alright. Right. 
Right, so I just remade this tube, which is the one coming from the pump to the CPU block um, with a slightly longer piece um, and just uh, chopped off the excess from uh, just one of the scrap pieces that I had still spare, so that's all good. Um, next up is gonna be refilling the uh, the loop. Um, I've also I've put an extender on this one um, from this one because uh, I managed to recreate this pipe a bit better, a bit more suited so I don't have any extenders on that side, it's just there. Um, so this one is now in theory fully secured, um, which is all good. And yeah, um, next up is uh, yeah filling the reservoir again and hoping it doesn't leak. Fingers crossed. Looking good so far. So once I filled the reservoir, I then went to turn on the power supply with just the Molex and my jumper connected so that uh, if you're new to water cooling, that's, you, you don't have any of the components plugged in or powered, you just have the power supply turning itself on uh, with the small jumper, uh, and that's to save the components if you have any leaks that, like I just did. Um, but sadly, the power supply isn't turning on for me, so um, this is my journey of working out that the power supply is dead and I needed to use another one. Molex. Uh, Power connected, yep. The right power cable is connected, yep. Right. <sighs> Different cheap power supply. Much better result. Okay. Again, basically just priming the loop, uh, making sure that the pump's inlet is always um, fed is definitely a good thing. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of bubbles sort of here, obviously passing into the inlet and then at the top of the res. So I'm just going to let a few of those go by, um, and then we'll uh, just keep priming it until it's. Uh, Sorted, then we're good. <laughs> you can see how the uh, you can see how the um, little squirter that pushes all the fluid back up at the top works. It's quite cool. But I'll get a uh, close up for you. So now that we've uh, replaced the uh, well problem pipe um, and uh, got the extension sorted. Um, the, the water cooling is now leak free, which is awesome. Um, I'm just bleeding out the last of the air bubbles. Um, and then once that's done, that's pretty much the system. I do still obviously need to switch the power supply because uh, the ATX one that's in here is apparently dead on arrival. So great. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is kind of it. The next video will be um, actually sort of sexy B-roll of the uh, of the case and the, the system as it's built and uh, general sort of you know playing games and, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, uh, then make sure you're subscribed. Of course, if you want to check out the actual case modding or the explanation of what you know we're doing here, um, check out the other videos over there too. I'll try and leave a playlist for you so you can just check them all out. Um, and obviously, there's other videos there too. As said, if you want to see more videos like this one or just the normal kind of reviews and that sort of thing then hit the subscribe button with notifications and of course you can support the channel especially supporting projects like this because this cost me money to, to go and get tools and all that sort of stuff um, so feel free to go check out the Amazon and Overclock affiliate links which are free for you to use but massively help me out you can also check out the Patreon if you want to support me directly there's also private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN and there's Humble Bundle, there's Bitcoin donations, because apparently some people like that. Um, so yeah, there's uh, there's lots of different options. Um, uh, massively thank you to everyone who does support me um, in any way. And uh, yeah, that's kind of that really. Hope you're enjoying the project. Make sure you stick around for the next video. And we'll see you all in the next video.